Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be dealing with electric dipoles. Since this is a very small topic, I'll try to complete it fast. Electric dipole is nothing but a pair of equal and opposite point charges separated by some small distance. Let me give an example. Say this charge is Q and uh, there is some other charge minus Q. Let the distance between them be 2A. There is something called a center of dipole in this region. And uh, the line joining the two charges defines the direction of this dipole in space. The convention says that the direction of dipole is from negative charge to the positive charge. So this is the direction here. Note that the total charge here is zero, but the electric field due to this dipole is not zero everywhere. If you want to calculate the dipole at some point P, you can do it by regular method by calculating uh, electric field due to each point charge and adding the vector really. And uh, I'll give some one or two examples uh, for finding the uh, electric field at some points which are commonly used. Coming to the definition, dipole is which is denoted by P is the product of charge and the distance between these two charges here these two it and note that dipole is a vector so this P cap indicates the direction and it is from negative charge to the positive charge and if you are looking at this dipole from a very 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 far distance you can say that the electric field due to each point charge roughly cancels each other and it's not the same when you're dealing with uh, distances which are comparable to the distance between these two point charges. So you have a dipole here. This is minus 2 and this is plus 2. And let the distance here be 2 again. And uh, we want to calculate the electric field at a point P which is on this uh, which is on this axis. Say it is at a distance of uh, R from the center of dipole and uh, electric field due to the negative charge by formula is minus q by 4 pi epsilon naught the distance here is r plus c whole square and don't forget to mention the direction the negative sign here indicates that the direction of this electric field is opposite to the direction of the dipole and similarly the electric field due to the positive charge you get it as q by 4 pi epsilon naught r minus a whole square. Now the total electric field at the point P is the sum of these two uh, after, after some small simplification to get it as Q by 4 pi epsilon naught 4 AR bar R square minus A square whole square P cap. Now Say if R is very very greater than A, then this term, in this term, the A square can be neglected and simply you can write this term as R square. So, our formula then changes to this thing, QA by pi epsilon naught R Q P cap, which is same as uh, 2P by 4 pi epsilon naught R Q. And uh, don't write this P cap here because P here is dipole and it already says the direction. So don't have to write this P cap again. This is the formula for electric field on the axial line where P is the dipole. And uh, it can also be written as uh, 4 Q wave by 4 pi epsilon naught R Q P cap. Going forward. Going forward. For a point on equatorial plane, if this is positive charge and this is negative charge, say they are separated by a distance to A, and this dashed line which you see and which is passing through the center of this dipole, it's not a line actually, it is a plane passing through the center of dipole, it is known as equatorial plane. And if you have a point P here on this plane, I want to find the electric field at this point. Electric field due to positive charge, say E plus Q, is in this direction, and due to negative charge will be in this direction. 
and the net electric field will be in this direction and note that it is uh, opposite to the direction of dipole because uh, this E plus Q and E minus Q they are equal in magnitude but have different direction their vertical components clearly get cancelled and they add up to give some electric field in horizontal direction only and uh, the direction is opposite to the direction of dipole now E plus Q you know how to find it using formula and uh, similarly you find E minus Q also and their horizontal components get added and the direction is opposite to that of dipole direction so this is the final E you can get it as minus 2QA by 4 pi epsilon naught r square plus a square whole part 3 by 2 and this is the direction and uh, PO it holds the center of uh, IPO PO is the R and this is A now I hope everything is clear and again for a specific case where R is very very greater than A E becomes uh, something like 2QA by 4 pi epsilon naught r q because if r is very very greater than a in this term a square is neglected and hence you get this this holds only if r is very very greater than a let me mention that and uh, another way of writing this is minus p by 4 pi epsilon naught r q and don't mention any direction here p cap because p itself is a vector and uh, that's it. Let's try to solve a small problem. Given a dipole, say this is 10 microcoulomb and this is 10 microcoulomb. This is a negative charge and this is positive charge. We have the center of dipole and we want to calculate electric field at the point P, which is at a distance of uh, 15 centimeters from the center of dipole on the equatorial plane and uh, distance between these two dipoles is given as these two charges is given as 5 millimeters now uh, I just discussed the formula in the above slide for the similar situation as uh, electric field is minus 2 QA by 4 pi epsilon R Q and uh, the direction is uh, minus P cap it's negative sign here shows the direction also and just put the value of Q as 10 power minus 5 and A as uh, 5 by 2 into 10 power minus 3. You know epsilon naught is a constant 8.854 into 10 power minus 12. And the R is 15 centimeters. Put all of them. It is just a matter of calculation. You get the answer as 1.33 into 10 power minus 5. And this is the direction. The negative sign indicates that electric field is opposite to the direction of dipole. This is the direction of dipole. So, your electric field will be in this direction. This is the electric field due to the negative charge and this is the electric field due to the positive charge. Hope everything is clear till now. If you place a dipole in uh, some external electric field, let me explain. Let this be minus 2 and this be plus 2. Because it is placed in a external electric field, the force on this charge acts in this direction, it is QV. And force on this charge acts in this direction, it is also QV. The net force here is zero, but not the net torque. The torque will be QE, and uh, if this is the center of dipole, this, this is something. Uh, Say this is theta and this becomes a sine theta into a sine theta and there are two such things so this will be your final power which is uh, nothing but the cross product of the dipole and electric field and the direction here is is trying to rotate this in this direction so direction of torque is uh, Something like it's coming out of your screen, out of your screen. 
this torque uh, is trying to align this dipole with electric field and once aligned there will be no torque the torque becomes zero and uh, this is the scene when you are dealing with some uniform electric field but what if the electric field is not uniform then what happens take a dipole this is the direction of dipole and uh, if you are direction of electric field is parallel to the direction of uh, parallel to the direction of dipole and uh, here the electric field is not uniform say if it is increasing like this as you move towards the right if it is increasing then what happens the force on this charge will be greater than the force on uh, this charge which is towards this direction so the net force will be in uh, right direction so the dipole will tend to move in this direction and if the electric field has a direction parallel to the direction of dipole and uh, it is decreasing as you move right rightwards say if this is the scene then what happens force on this charge will be greater than the force on this charge so the net force will be in this direction so the uh, the dipole tries to move in this direction in both the cases observe one thing if uh, in both the cases uh, the dipole is trying to move in a direction where the electric field is increasing so that's what i want to say if the direction of electric field is parallel to the direction of dipole then dipole tries to move in a direction of increasing electric field and similarly if the direction of uh, electric field is uh, anti parallel to direction of dipole i mean if direction of dipole is this thing and uh, direction of electric field is this thing if this is the same then similarly dipole tries to move in direction of decreasing electric field just uh, note these two points they are going to be very handy let me star mark them also and uh, that's it for today in the next video i'll be explaining you about very 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 important law it's called gauss law so that's it for today bye